Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, Your Worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That would be an unprecedented offer. If I believed it was legitimate, which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go, but they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. There's too much risk here, and I won't stick my neck out for the Kunari. Your call, boss. It feels weird to me too, but I don't think they'd lie about this. If you change your mind, I mark the meeting point in the war room. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad? Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kuhn. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter. I was eight. The Kuhn isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. The Imperium and the Kunari both have their problems. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this Red Lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. 
We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well. If the Dreadnought can't handle them... It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Just waiting on you and his rod, or Iron Bull, I guess. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Saharan. Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharan, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And you decided to start following the Kune after that. What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been. But he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharan longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. Sounds like following the Kune hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family, who were still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. How did an elf end up working for the Canari out here? Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. We're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice, to purpose. Some days are still difficult. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Kunari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Kunari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You'd get more use out of our ships, I imagine. And the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. Do you have a minute to talk about the Kuhn? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the inquisitor's opinion of the Kuhn. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kuhn to judge it. 
I think you have to be raised under the Kyun for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or, well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kyun for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. You must wish you were back in Tevinter, Mage. No soldiers to guard you here, no slaves to wait on you. It's the lack of fashion that really strikes fear into my heart. You know nothing of fear. And do you intend to teach me? No. You serve the Inquisition in the Ben Hathrath Wish and Alliance. For now, that is enough. Can you make out any of your mercenaries down there? Not from here. Probably a better view once we take the Vince camp. Worried? They're my men. I've been with some of them for years. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kyun. We need to hold that hill at all costs. <sighs> Yeah. Will the charges hold long enough? Yeah. They'll get it done. This rod, I'm sorry. I know that wasn't easy. It doesn't matter. The Cune demanded it. Dreadnought's clear. Let's get out of here. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, my superiors have named you Basilit Ahn. It means respected one. 
We would be honored to join you in the fight against Corypheus. You'll have Canari support on the seas, as well as our full intelligence network. I look forward to working with your people. The feeling is mutual. Hisrad. Marasis Shokra. Panahedan Gat. A Kunari alliance. That's a first. I had no idea it would cost you the Chargers, Bull. I'm sorry. It was always a risk. Have a good one. You wanted to see me? If you've got a minute, yes. Wanted some help dealing with this. The Bull's Chargers. What's left of them, anyway? Krem, Rocky, Dalish, all of them. Dead for the Iron Bull. A man who never really existed. Should I start calling you Hisrad? Nah, it just confuse everyone. Besides, you're mangling the pronunciation. But I think I'm done leading mercenaries into battle. You can still be the Iron Bull. I plan to. Chargers or no, it's a fun role. And I like Orlesian food. But I've been away from the Kune for too many years. This was a good reminder of who I really am. Now I can serve you and the Inquisition honestly. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I don't know any prayers from the Chantry. Or whatever Rocky and Dalish believed in. Atash Varin Kata. Asit Tale. The Bull's Chargers died at the hands of the Venatori, like too many others. We will avenge their deaths. For every bloody battlefield, we'll gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds. Thanks, boss. Didn't want to do this alone. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it is. out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor. It is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. I'm proud of you, Bull. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the Chargers tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Bull! I got it! It was the Sala Talvasoth. 
Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah! Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you or the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. I hoped the Ben Hasrath would let you go. They did. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Are you going to be all right? It's a knife wound, boss. I think I'll live. I'm fine. Thanks. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. <laughs>